NBA tip-off is officially here, and to get the lowdown on the 2023 season, we're here at Australia's home of basketball, Throwback Store. Let's hoop. So we're here with Mike Lazarus, founder of Throwback Store. Mike, thanks so much for having us. Pleasure to have you guys. I want to chat a little bit about the 2023 season. Obviously, there's a lot happening. Let's kick off with some jerseys. All right, so to start with you, can't go past world champion. Should have been three-time MVP. <laughs> Don't want to upset, upset anyone. Just, yeah. <laughs> Something that's probably you know exciting and fresh for this season is the Association Whites being re-released for the first time in years. We've got a few more through LeBron. Um, obviously, the, the statement re-up um, here in the Lakers. Um, and as you come through more here, one of my favorites is this uh, modern take on a classic. Um, so Suns have gone super retro on their new um, rebrand. And then just finishing it off, I'd say, uh, can't go past a Steph Curry in the association white. Again, like first time it's been available in the market for years. So everyone's getting pretty excited about the clean white fresh look. But to be honest, everyone's got their own taste and there's no one jersey nowadays that stands out over anything else. Obviously, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry are your guys, but um, you know, you've got guys like Giannis now who's arguably the greatest in the world and you can go on and go on and go on and there's stories around the Celtics and all this and like, it's hard to put a, uh, a finger on which one is the most popular, but that's why we stock the range that we do. Basketball shoes, but not in kind of the way we know them in 2023. What can you tell me about these ones? Just having a conversation about a shoe like this, um, it's actually a basketball shoe from back in the olden days, but you see sneakers like this, these clean whites in the market everywhere nowadays. And I think it's overlooked at how much basketball's in our world. So we talked a bit about some old school basketball sneakers here. We're onto the more new ones. Leaning, Wave Wade, tell me about these ones. Brand new in terms of in the Western market, uh, especially in Australia, hasn't been offered before. I will say this, that once I picked up the sneaker and saw it um, for myself, um, it's hard to argue against this sneaker being pound for pound one of the best in the market. Um, I'm holding the Jimmy Butler right now. I play in this shoe, it's an amazing sneaker. And then another one would have been the Way of Wade All City, um, which has been doing really cool things. So that's the leanings, but KD's, big star, big jersey sales, no doubt. Big shoe sales? Massive, probably our most consistent sneaker um, over the years. Um, just as an example, a lot of the NBL guys wearing them. Um, hooked up Jonah Bolden with a pair. Shout out Jonah. Yeah, loving the cushioning in these. Um, I mean, I don't have to talk too much about what Nike's yeah. always been the benchmark for basketball. Um, KD can't really go wrong with it. Mellow's here. These ones are a really funky color, but I do like them. Uh, that's the Mellow MB1 Retro. So it's a breast cancer awareness. Um, looks a little bit orange um, in person, but it's got this really um, bright pink tinge to it. And then these ones below. So that's your La France. Um, so Mellow's brand collabed with Puma, the launch colorway so far in the market. It's this green one going crazy, but I can tell you right now, there's a lot of heat coming. Um, you should see some of the colorways that are about to come out for the, the threes. So it's you've got crazy. a bit of a, a sneaky first glance. That yeah, you can't tell well, us about, <laughs> I have to sign all these NDAs when I'm placing the orders, but um, yeah, I got a bit of a, a heads up heads up of what's coming. And yeah, I know it's gonna hit well. I mean, if it's doing anything what the ones and the twos did, um, these threes are gonna do some crazy things. Let's talk 2023 season. Who are the Aussies that we should be looking out for? Josh Green, I think he's really primed for a breakout season. Um, I say breakout season, but he actually had a great season. Yeah. He just came off. So I think he's one to watch for. Um, Josh Giddy, I mean, everyone has got high hopes on Giddy continuing to do what he does. So I would be shocked if Giddy doesn't have another great year. He's one of those guys that facilitates and makes other players so much better. So he's a great fit for a young team with a lot of talent around him. And then you look at someone like Dyson, guys yeah. that are really like, no one's talking about him right now, but then the season starts and we won't be able to, to unsee it. So I think someone like Dyson, young talent, um, he's gonna be one of the boomers for the future. And I'm really excited to watch his journey moving forward. Thanks so much for having us, appreciate it. Pleasure to have you, man.